So you're thinking about moving to Saddlebrook near Tucson, Arizona, but you're not sure where to start? Well, in this video, we're gonna tell you a little bit about Saddlebrook and show you some homes in different neighborhoods at different price points so you can get an idea as to what might best fit your needs and your budget. And if you stick around to the end, we'll show you a couple exciting things to do near Saddlebrook. Let's get started. If you're new to this channel and you want to learn everything from A to Z about living in Tucson AZ, then click subscribe and tap that bell for notifications so you can be the first to learn about the current market in Tucson, Arizona. Hi, I'm Dustin Smith. My wife Jennifer and I have helped hundreds of people just like you move to and from Tucson, Arizona. So whether you're moving in 12 days, 12 weeks, or 12 months, give us a call, shoot us a text or an email so we can help you make the smooth move to Tucson, Arizona. So you might be wondering where Saddlebrook is. So Saddlebrook, not to be confused with Saddlebrook Ranch, is just north of the town of Oro Valley, and it's about 35 to 40 minutes north of the city of Tucson. So if you're headed north from Oro Valley, you turn right on a road called Saddlebrook Boulevard, and you go through a couple miles till you kind of crest the hill, and then you'll see the community nestled right in this valley near the Catalina Mountain. Saddlebrook is Southern Arizona's largest active adult community. So it attracts people not only for the gorgeous Catalina Mountain views behind me, but it really has everything you need right here in the community. So it has a gas station, grocery store, golf courses, community centers. In fact, the community centers offer over 150 different clubs to pursue whatever hobby you might have. On its website, the Saddlebrook community is quick to tout that over 30% of the community actually plays golf on the Saddlebrook One course. So the Saddlebrook One course is actually 27 holes, but they split it up into three different courses, including the Tucson Nine, the Catalina Nine, and the Saddlebrook Nine. Each course kind of has its own personality and challenges, and you'll find different play throughout it and different levels of difficulty on each course. Unfortunately, Saddlebrook One is only available to members, but if you're in the area, and you wanna play some golf, there's two other courses available. We have Mountain View and The Preserve, and they both have daily rates available to visitors. There are a ton of different reasons why people might wanna to move to Saddlebrook, but in general, people that move out here wanna be close enough to the city of Tucson without actually living in the city. So you have everything you need out here, but if you wanna to go to town to go shopping, it's not that bad of a commute. Oro Valley is gonna have everything you need. And if you really wanna go into Tucson and uh, visit the restaurants there and the extra shopping that's throughout the Tucson and the Marana area, it's not that bad of a commute from out here. If you don't feel like traveling over to Oro Valley or Tucson to go grab a bite to eat, you might be wondering what they have here in the community. Well, most popular among residents for breakfast is gonna be the Roadrunner. So that might be pretty busy. Definitely plan ahead on that. If you're here for like a happy hour type thing, check out Agave. They've got some great deals and some great drinks in there for you. And if you're here for, uh, for like a dinner or a meal, check out the Vistas. So the Vistas has great menu options every day. If you're here on like a Thursday, they have burger nights every Thursday. Every Fridays, they're gonna have a fish fry Friday. And then once a month, they're gonna do like a chef's choice dinner. So it's like a special event really kind of brings people from all over the community to see whatever that special menu option is gonna be that night. It's also a great place to host events. If you're not feeling the dining options out here in Saddlebrook, it's a short jump over to Oro Valley and Catalina where your restaurant options are basically endless. Of course, you have all your major fast food chains there. So going out there, grabbing something quick and cheap is very easy. But if you want like a nice steak dinner, uh, we recommend heading over to the keg. They really know how to put a plate of food together. Oro Valley would also likely be the place where you're checking out if you're needing a, or wanting a part-time or full-time job. They have tons of shopping centers, uh, so retail, hospitals, doctor office, vet clinics. Um, it's also known as Southern Arizona's like tech corridor over there. So endless job opportunities, shopping opportunities, all like right outside the Saddlebrook community. So if you're living in Saddlebrook, Oro Valley is gonna be a very important part of your life. 
Homes for sale in Saddlebrook generally start off in the $300,000 price range, but go over a million dollars. In fact, some stuff even reaches as high as $1.4 million. So a wide range of housing options in the area. So speaking of, let's go check out some neighborhoods. first neighborhood we're checking out today is the Villas in Saddlebrook. So this is really like your starting price point for all of Saddlebrook. In fact, the home for sale behind me right now, um, it's the lowest priced in all of Saddlebrook and it's listed right now at $310,000. It has two bedrooms, two bathrooms, it's 1,706 square foot. And the homes in the villas are actually duplex types homes. So it is gonna be connected to the neighbors. You have like a, a walk, two walking paths that walk side by side up to your front door, but you do have your own garage, your own living space, and your own back patio on each of these homes. Now, this home uh, being built in 2000, um, it's pretty much all original on the inside of the home. So it, it gives you the opportunity to get into Saddlebrook at an entry level price point and make a home the way that you want to. Um, if you're not interested in a duplex type homes, there are other homes throughout Saddlebrook that kind of uh, start off a little bit higher so you can get yourself a single family residence starting in about the $360,000 range. All right, I hope you guys like the villas, but let's go check out another neighborhood. The second neighborhood we're showing you today is over in Saddlebrook 2. So Saddlebrook is kind of broken up into two major uh, communities. So the first phase was Saddlebrook 1 and then you have Saddlebrook 2. Um, so homes in this little neighborhood right here were built in 1999, whereas Saddlebrook in general was founded in 1986. Uh, homes on this street generally feature views of the Catalina Mountains and on the other side of the house right here is actually the golf course. So a lot of these homes are set up with view fencing so you can enjoy the golf course and the Catalina Mountains from the backyard. Uh, this home for sale right here is priced at $500,000 on the nose, two bedrooms, two bathrooms, 1,851 square foot. So it's got an updated kitchen with quartz countertops. The bathrooms were recently remodeled and just bumper to bumper inside, very clean. Uh, luxury vinyl floor throughout. And, you know, one thing that I really want to, you know, let people know about is the HOA fee in the area is about $275 a month. So that is going to make sure that the roads are in top notch condition, sidewalks, landscaping, all of your um, like community owned areas are very well taken care of throughout the community. And you also have access to the community center, which includes a pool, a sauna, tennis ball courts, pickleball courts, um, and as well as those community rooms to participate in the clubs in. Now this is only about a half a mile away from the nearest community center. So you can hop on the golf cart and take a ride over there. So, all right, let's go check out one more house. All right, the last neighborhood we're checking out is the Preserve in Saddlebrook. 
Now we jumped in price here. We just came from the $500,000 house and the one for sale behind me is listed at $995,000. It has four bathrooms, three bedrooms, 3,658 square feet, of which 346 is the casita. So between your main home and the casita, you do have this gated courtyard with brick pavers. It's just a nice, nice private area. Uh, within the house, you have these timeless updates within it. The kitchen has the quartz countertops, beautiful cabinets, um, just nice, easy maintenance, high quality materials throughout the home. You go into the backyard, you have this huge, almost wraparound patio back there with the red brick pavers. Um, you have a built-in barbecue and just this full view of the Catalina Mountains while you're sitting in your backyard and enjoying it, drinking coffee, having a beer, a glass of wine, you know, whatever, uh, whatever your choice is out there. With this kind of home, you're definitely going to be spending time in that backyard and you don't have any rear neighbors behind you. It's just a big open desert area back there. So this home was built in 2005 and walking through it, I mean, it looks like it was just built in the last couple of years. So absolutely gorgeous. So if you're looking at Saddlebrook, you're looking in this price range, you're probably gonna be in this neighborhood. This is just generally where those higher priced homes are located. All right, guys. Well, thanks for looking at houses and the neighborhoods with me. Let's go check out some of those exciting things we were talking about. Thank you for sticking in this long. I did promise to share a few fun things to do. If you're in the Saddlebrook area, and I am right outside Saddlebrook right now. In fact, those are Saddlebrook homes right behind me. And the first thing I wanted to share with you was San Maniego Trail. So San Maniego Ridge Trail is a 31 mile trail that takes about 20 hours to complete and is considered quite challenging. So most people aren't gonna do all of that in one go. Um, so you'll see people out there backpacking, camping, and it is quite popular, so you will run into other people on that trail. But since it's such a long trail, you'll also find some areas of great solitude and just beautiful views along the way. The second thing I wanted to share with you is Catalina Dome Rock. So for those of you that are looking for something a little more challenging, Catalina Dome Rock is going to give you that rock climbing experience on some natural rocks out in the Catalina area. I'm told it's not an extremely difficult hike to get out there. It's relatively close to town, but still kind of gives you that wilderness feel to it. So on the dome rock, you'll find some areas that are quite challenging uh, and some areas that are a little bit easier. Uh, but to me, rock climbing is very difficult. So I think that's gonna be for some of you that are looking for something a little more challenging. The third fun thing I'm sharing with you today is actually right where I'm at. I'm at the Charlotte Gap staging area. So a lot of people that live in Saddlebrook actually have you know, pretty nice uh, Jeep 4x4s, side-by-sides, uh, and they enjoy quick access to the Charlotte Gap 4x4 trails out here. So these are somewhat maintained. There is a volunteer group that comes out here, makes sure things are free of debris and still accessible to vehicles. Uh, it attracts people from all over the place. You have people coming from pretty much all areas of, of Tucson, Marana to come out here and enjoy these four by four trails. So I know that if uh, I was in the area, I would have these things memorized, but unfortunately I haven't really had a chance myself to go out here. So if you're moving to Saddlebrook and you got a four by four, let's take a trip together. We hope that you enjoyed our video on Saddlebrook today. If you know something about Saddlebrook that we forgot to mention, let us know in the comments below. We always appreciate your input and feedback. And if you did like the video, make sure to hit that like button, click subscribe and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to learn about the current market in Tucson, Arizona. If you or someone you know is thinking about moving to or from Tucson, make sure to give us a call, shoot us a text or an email so we can help you make a smooth move. Our contact information is in the description below and we hope to see you guys on the next video. Thank you.